Good evening, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here with my family. Um, I know we have a time limit, so I'm going uh, to jump right into it. Um, now, I don't want to come off as being arrogant, but when you're a six foot five receiver, 225 pounds, and you're on a 4'3 like I do, you can understand why I'm going to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> but uh, seriously, obviously, those measurements uh, don't describe me as a player. But I have to say, I felt like a six foot five receiver out there on the field. I felt I could affect the outcome of a football game. I've always been uh, criticized for uh, downplaying, downplaying what I accomplished on the football field. Um, the main reason for this is, as a player, I never wanted complacency to set in or laziness. So I would never acknowledge what I did on the field or what I did the week before, the game before, or even the play before. Um, you know, that singular focus uh, kept me hungry and made me want to perform. So please understand, you know, that this honor is uh, very humbling to me. Uh, I'm not used to giving myself kudos or pats on the back. Um, but this Hall of Fame induction means that, you know, I don't have to do that. You've done that for me. I'd like to thank uh, some of the coaches that I played for, John Huffnagel, uh, Wally Bono, Don Matthews. Uh, Wally and uh, Don in particular. Wally, you gave me my first opportunity in the CFL. Um, uh, you believed in me. You put me out there and uh, let me play. The biggest compliment you ever gave me was when I left Calgary to go to Edmonton. And you told me uh, that you regretted letting me leave, letting me get out of Calgary. Um, but we were able to win a great cup together in 98, beating Joe, beating Danny. So <laughs> had to throw that in, you, in there, Joe. But uh, we did uh, do some good things in Calgary, and, and we were able to uh, share a special time in uh, 1998. Uh, Coach Matthews, the biggest compliment I can give you, a uh, great evaluator of talent. Um, you were able to uh, see that in, in, in players and put them in the best uh, position to succeed. Uh, you did it your own way. You were successful in doing it your own way. Uh, you was a player's coach, and uh, I thank you for that. <clears throat> I'd like to thank some of my teammates that I played with. A lot of them are here tonight, Rocco Romano. Um, I was forced to play with a lot of great players and learn from a lot of great players. You know, I played with Alan Pitts, Doug Flutie, Jeff Garcia, Dave Dickinson, Danny Barrett, Ricky Ray. Anthony Cavill, Gizmo Williams, Alondra Johnson, and uh, who am I missing? Um, that Henry Burris guy. <laughs> you know, so when you're around great players like that, you get an opportunity to learn a lot. Um, you learn how to work. Um, you learn how to be accountable. Uh, you learn how to be a good teammate. You know, I learned all that from those players. You know, I just wanted to be, I always wanted to just be one of the guys in the locker room, just another guy. I didn't want to be bigger than the team. I just want to be a part of the team. <clears throat> I'd like to thank my family for being here. Um, first off, I'd like to thank my parents, you know, Edith and Lawrence, they're not here. Um, but my parents taught me right from wrong. And they always, uh, they were loving to me and put me on the right path. I like to thank my children, Tristan, my oldest, uh, beautiful, beautiful girl, smart, track star. Uh, I like to thank my middle daughter, Sydney, 
Once again, beautiful girl. She's the creator one of the bunch. Artist, dancer, singer, budding track star as well. And uh, I'd like to thank my baby of the family, Zion, my son. He is, uh, he's the head of the household, if you let him tell it, you know. Um, but he's really just a sweet boy. Um, my wife, Cassandra, you know, she's the boss. Um, <clears throat> playing football, I was kind of moody, you know, on game day. You know, I had my little rituals I had to do. And my wife was very accommodating, you know, very accommodating. And, uh, you know, she allowed me to live out my dream of playing football. You know, uh, you know, when you go back and forth to the States, you know, that can be taxing on a family. And uh, she gave up some of her dreams so I could live mine. You know, and my wife is the reason why it worked, you know, why I was successful. So I thank you and I love you. Um, I'd like to say uh, thanks to all the inductees. Uh, this is a great honor for us. And uh, I'm proud to say that I'm a part of the 2011 Canadian Football Hall of Fame. Thank you.